The intense manhunt is spreading. The fugitives could be anywhere from New York's North Country up to Canada or even south into Mexico, where 49 year old fugitive Richard Matt is believed to have connections. Anything's a possibility. We, we really need the public to call in. A law enforcement source tells CNN an employee is being questioned as a possible accomplice. The woman who worked with inmates tailoring clothing knew Richard and 35-year-old David Sweat, but she hasn't been charged. Many think the dangerous duo could not have done it alone. They redid that wall twice since I've been working here. Rich Plumidor worked behind these 60-foot walls for three and a half decades. He says he retired from his job as maintenance supervisor of the prison. His daily duties included working in the hidden maze of walkways, believed to have served as Matt and Sweat's path to freedom. There's uh, so many tunnels, all the attics, all the catwalks. It's a big maze. They use that maze. They use the maze. They know exactly where to go. Plumador suspects the escape plan took time and serious know-how to execute. Inmates should never get that knowledge. Cutting at the wrong steam pipe at the wrong time could have been deadly, or at least blown the inmates' cover. You had uh, high-pressure steam coming up the tunnels. You have low pressure. I believe they cut into a low-pressure line because they couldn't cut into it. Why? Like the rest of his neighbors, Plumador waits anxiously for the search to be over and a pair of cunning criminals to be back behind bars.